Hi, we're Desert Philly here, and we're here with Last FM and HP. There was one gig we did in Serbia at Exit, and it was just as soon as we walk, walked on, it was just ev everyone was there, wasn't it? Yeah. And everyone was in place, and the timing was just right. You know, we were on at like one in the morning or something. So everyone was just like at their sort of peak, and I don't know, it just. Just Plus the setting clicked. was good. It's exit festivals like a castle on a mountain, uh, on, on, a, on a hill, and there's like 20,000 sort of Serbian people going crazy. And it, and it, that festival like stopped at three in the morning or something. So mm. it was like we were headlining it. You, you know, a festival where you wait for the headliner and it's like the magic in the air. We were that band at that, that moment. So we felt the magic and the audience felt the magic, and then we're on. And it's like. Exactly what we always wanted to do. Now we want to do it at Reading. <laughs> yeah. We've got one goalpost. That's Reading Festival. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because we're from Reading and we played it. We've just never done the main stage, which is like it's the one, isn't it? You know, it's like for us anyway. But you know, for a lot of bands, it's just another show. You know, like you know, Killers come over and headline Reading Festival. For them, it's like oh, it's just it's Reading Festival. You know, they go and do a thousand gigs like that. But for us. The Holy Grail. It's the Holy Grail for us because it's hometown, you know. So all the bands I made me want to do music, I saw on that stage, and it's just like, ah, oh, it'd be great to do that. Dubstep things are weird, weird thing because there's every dubstep song is so limited to exact BPMs and exact sounds, and it's almost like we were saying this like you don't really get dubstep artists, you get the dubstep genre. Yeah. And at the head of that is Skrillex, obviously. Yeah. But you can go to a dubstep night just for dubstep, just like you went to techno nights and yeah, stuff. Exactly, yeah. But I it's, think, it's not I really think... like artists who have their own vibe. It's it's a it's a genre that's come up. Drum and bass did it, I guess, and techno did it. But I think with the with since obviously in drum and bass there wasn't YouTube or there wasn't Facebook or the, so I think or Last dub, FM or Last FM. So I think dubstep sort of grown into this, you know, far bigger than drum and bass really e ever was. Oh, so in the think, 80s oh. there was like so much good alternative music and alternative comedy coming out of the whole Thatcher and like Reagan thing. And now, now we've got the similar situation. Everyone's skint, everyone's angry. And hopefully some really good music is going to come along and we'll all look really naff. But whatever comes along is going to be really, really that good. The thing. I'm really looking forward to bands coming out in the next three or four years because they're going to be wicked, you know. And yeah, it will put us on the back foot and all this. But I'm just, as a music fan, I'm like, well, I can't wait until it happens, you know. And something catches fire and it's just everyone runs with it. I'm like, yeah, I'll... and it's good. You it's know? perfectly set up for punk because you can make music in your own bedroom. You can put it out on the internet for free. You can set up gigs really easily, it's just the music hasn't happened yet. 